Hello, it's Quay and welcome to my public goods haul. on the world and more details on that will come but first I got a lot of packages obviously I've been in this apartment for less than 24 hours to be honest I don't want to come to an empty house um so I like to send stuff in advance I did that with my last place I was there for five years and you know did it now but this one is even special because this is my first solo apartment so I get to curate it exactly how I want to curate this place and I'm just really, really, really excited to just live and start this new chapter of my life. I'm overjoyed, I'm overjoyed. But we're gonna get right into this haul. I came across Public Goods on Instagram one day and I was like, this is so cute, this is so me. Like I love black and white, I love like minimalism. I just love that type of aesthetic and I also love really clean products. Uh, I love to be sustainable and sometimes I'm not as sustainable as I can be and I have my best friend who you know who reminds me but I grew up in Portland, Oregon and we were recycling since like pre-k and we were learning about the trees and doing certain things so I naturally have some things that just are you know with me like I don't litter um you know and so now that I'm in this chapter of my life I want to be even more sustainable because I do care about the planet I care about my life I care about my plants like, I just care about everything, um, and so I want to be more sustainable. So I was like, let me just try out public goods because this stuff looks cute. I read the back end story, and we're gonna see what it's giving. Um, so, see, so have these two large boxes, but first let's start off with this one. my castle soap my dish soap and my castle soap um because i need to take a shower and i need to wash the dishes that i just received so you won't see those in here i probably showed it at the end but let's jump into it okay so this is the packaging i got some wool dryer balls so i guess you're supposed to put these in your dryer and they're gonna like knock out all the wrinkles make them really soft i guess get rid of any like lint and or what have you. Um, so I've seen really cool reviews on this. I've never had a wool dryer ball. Some people said they use this instead of their dryer sheets. I always thought dryer sheets were good for scent. So I don't know if I'm gonna replace my dryer sheets because I'm not, I got some dryer sheets. Um, I'm gonna add both of them and see what it's giving. Hello. Next we have surface cleaner. So, let's see how it smells. Okay, it's light. I'm a girl who grew up with a mother who loved bleach. She's gonna bleach everything down. Bleach, the smell of bleach means everything's clean and you know, we move along. <laughs> so, uh, this is gonna be, you know, a different touch. I personally haven't had any health issues from my knowledge. Um, when I was using bleach growing up for like bleach, a bleaching household. But um, I don't know, we'll see. I'm all for, you know, more sustainable cleaning. I don't think we need the smell of, the, to smell bleach or certain chemicals in order to know that we clean something. You know, it's really about what, you know, you are using and how consistent you are with your cleaning. So moving on. I got their essential oils, peppermint oil and lavender oil. I love, I love lavender oil, OD, like I love lavender everything. Um, I'm about to go to the store and go get some lavender products from Dr. Teal's, uh, but mmm, it smells so good. It was made in Bulgaria. One of my best friends from Bulgaria, she got the pack, so. Now, I get a lot of headaches, and I've always been told by like some of my Caribbean friends, like, rub peppermint oil on your temples, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, and I've never, I've never tried it, so. 
Mm. I, love, I love peppermint. Like I used to um, be obsessed with mint tea growing up, like <sighs> mint tea and caramel. This was a product of India, this peppermint oil. Let me see where this is from. Oh, y'all, that one to cry, I'm gonna cry. Did it? Okay, no. These are made in the US, the circus cleaner. Paper things are made of bamboo. So that's exciting. Tree free toilet paper. I'm all for it. Next, we have a candle. This is their black current candle. The candle was made in the US. Let's smell. Only got one of this candle and another one. Hmm. Ooh, I like this. It smells like, kind of like citrusy. Hmm, made in India. Oh, citrusy. I can't describe it, but it smells good. You just trust me on that one. Now, public goods. Oh, I got a little lip balm. It's so tiny. Oh my God. I'm kind of upset how small this is. This was made in the US, gluten free. Little lip balm. Okay, now this is really an important product bamboo overnight pad. So I just got my period today, which was perfect that I like, got this shipment. Um, although I do have some organic cotton tampons that I'm using, but as soon as we're done, I'm going straight to these. So overnight pads. I've been told that as women, we should um, not use our tampons at night, just unplug and let it flow. So I'm trying to get back to like get to that phase again. Uh, and so these bamboo overnight pads seems interesting. Should I open them? Like should we just take a peek? at the packaging, beyond the packaging. I think it comes with like 10 in here. Okay, they're really thin. It says, it's all good, labeled all around it. That's kind of like public good slogan, which I love. Yeah, it's a long, thin, overnight pad. And I believe I got, I'm not super into tampons. These are made in China, okay. We'll see what it's getting. So in addition to household, okay, public goods is just like a household essentials, this is what I define it as, essentials um, brands that come straight to your door. And so I believe in the, it's important to stock up on some of our essential items like canned foods. I stopped eating canned foods and processed foods like in 2019. Oh, my dress looks okay, no, she snatched. That is not how I look. <laughs> I stopped eating canned um, foods in like 2019. However, I did go back to eating like canned garbanzo beans and red kidney beans from our recipes and, you know, stuff like that. And kind of tuna here and there. Um, but I found a quick that. Public Goods has canned food, so I got about four garbanzo beans, low organic, low sodium, high in fiber, of course. These are made in New York. Yeah, distributed. Public Goods is a New York based company, so right off of on Delancey, I believe. Um, so yeah, it just says garbanzo beans, water, and sea salt. I like that. I don't need to see any sodium bicarbonate. I don't know. I don't need to see things I don't need to see. And I respect a company that doesn't show me those things. So I have those things in my food. I got, also got kidney beans because I got to make my some beans. Even the packaging is super cute. I believe I got like four of each just to, you know, try them out. Then, oh, I got some organic strawberry jam. I love strawberry jam. I don't really eat peanut butter and jelly and really jam like that, to be honest. But like I said, essentials. It's good to be stocked up, especially where I moved. I think it's important for me to stock up on these items because uh, just, yeah, 
we'll get to that later. But organic strawberries made of ripe strawberries and cane sugar. That's a little annoying. I'm, I'm kind of off of cane sugar, even though it does come with cane. I've taken it like into coconut sugar, um, straight off of the coconut palm. So, hmm, we'll see. This has cane sugar, strawberries, 50% strawberries, organic, water, lemon juice, gelling, Asian pectin. I gotta see what pectin is. I didn't look at that as ingredients, but this is jam, glass packaging, metal lid, sustainable. And then I believe this is the peanut butter. Yeah, how cute. Yeah, glass as well. Organic, creamy, roasted peanuts and sea salt. That's it. It's made in Spain, this peanut butter. That's not cool. And then, yeah, this is the canned goods. paper towel I don't know it doesn't really have a scent um, which is cool because you know some paper products really do have like that scent and then these are the tree feet toilet papers I'm loving it so far it's kind of it's not too harsh but it's like thick enough obviously I use it it's thick enough to you know do what it needs to do um, it's kind of like reverse like the side where you wipe your stuff with is like smoother and the inner part is a little more textured um, I think that's interesting I never felt that on a toilet paper it's all consistent um, so maybe that's how it is able to get a, a more cleaner swipe which I'm all for okay um, yeah so this whole shipment is the toilet paper now the final one which we have a few more things. Look at my crib. I'm so cute, right? <laughs> Thank you. It's my first day here. I'm trying to hit my plant babies. They took a ride with me. And they were looking good. Make sure they're not traumatized. Okay. So here's the tampon. I, I got super strength because I used to have crazy periods, to be honest, when I first started getting a period. Um, I feel like they still, I still have a super, I still require super, but my period is really only three days. It's a little late this week. I was, this month, I was nervous. Like, I'm in two weeks late. I have some suspicions about why related to COVID, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, it's all good. Packaging. It has three drops for Super. If I, I didn't see Super Plus, so I don't know about Super Plus, but. These have the application looks. Yeah, pretty basic. I feel good about it. The ingredients say, let's test them out if they don't have any ingredients, because it shouldn't, but. If, if these are made in Europe. They have an expiration date. Wow, I've never really noticed the expiration date on tampons. That's interesting. I gotta look into that. But I got um, two boxes. You know, I just want to try them out first before committing. And I'm sure they're gonna be great. Sanitizing lavender wipes. Now, I'm already using one. I think I got a few boxes. I probably got two just to test them out as well. I'm loving these so far. They're sanitizing, they have lavender. I love lavender so much. Um, it's like your, you know, your regular pool, you know, and wipe. Um, smells so, so good. These were made in the US. They too have an expiration date. <laughs> and it's ethyl alcohol, 65% antimicrobial. Ooh, that was a word. And it has glycerin, lavandula, which is lavender. 
um, cumin sativa, which is cucumber, matricaria, camellia sensis, which is white tea, oat, I'm gonna do the short names, marshmallow root extract, and aloe leaf extract plus water. I'm loving these so far. I've been using them in the kitchen, oh, just everywhere. I love the smell. Now we got the fabric softeners. Let me just smell them. So, like I said, I'm not just gonna use wool balls. Like, come on. Ooh, these fabric softeners smell interesting. Hmm. This is really interesting. I'm thinking like dryer sheets. Wow. They have like texture on them, if you can see. Yeah, you see that? Interesting. Okay, so I was thinking I was gonna get a little scent, but we're not, and that's okay. It's okay, because as long as it's clean. Also made in the US, it has fatty acids um, and some methylonium. It says use a single sheet with each load, pull apart at per perforation to reduce risk of blocking drive-ins, allow garment, yeah, 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 whatever. Um, this is cool. Obviously, I love the packaging. It's black and white. I'll look at my laundry cabinet and everything will just look clean and in order. I'll show you videos of that when I do like a furnished apartment tour. But that's super cute. Okay. I got some aloe vera gel. I love aloe vera and I usually buy the plant. Let me just put this one right now. I usually just buy the plant leaf and let it do its thing. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I think it's just a little better for me because sometimes I just don't feel like cutting the plant and just be forgetting to add this to my routine. So it's going in the bathroom, it's going on my face. My skin's looking pretty good. I have like a chemical pill. I just have a few blemishes to get rid of, but I'm excited for aloe vera. What I love about this company, um, you know how you go to the store and you get you know your dish soap or whatever and you just got to keep buying a new carton this company has refill pouches that are concentrated so obviously you're just going to add a little water to um the refill but i love it so this is a dish soap refill so you guys can get a look at how the color of the dish soap is the dish soap smells it has basil oil in it so it kind of has this basil like um, orange smell to it. It's really light and it smells delicious. And I love that. I'm really a Dawn girl. And so this is interesting going over to this company. I got big, these are 34 ounce refills. This is a 34 ounce refill with lotion because I bought some hand lotion. And another 34 for the hand soap. I bought some sanitizing spray to take on the go. Let's see what it's giving. Okay, just giving sanitizer. No lavender or anything, you know. Not that I was looking for it. It would be nice, but you know, whatever. More pads, bamboo pads. Now, you know I'm a, I'm a lady first. So I couldn't just get tree feet toilet paper without getting wet wipes. Come on, come on. Don't come at me like that. <laughs> so of course I have a 50 count of their wet wipes. They smell them. Okay, no scent, which is good. We only send our wipes, you know. We don't need to be interfering with our that natural body chemistry down there. She gotta do her thing at all times. Yeah, I like this. So I have a few bags of these. I don't know, I don't think you can go wrong with wipes, so they are made of 100 percent bamboo celiosic fiber. So they have chamomile in it, aloe water, cucumber, oats, something similar to what in the dish soap, I think that was, yeah. Um, and made in the US. Few of these. Yeah. Now, I got scrubber sponges. They call them walnut sponges. Um, I find it cute. I like the color, you know, let's get away from the blues and all that artificial stuff. And I got this. So it's plant-based cellulose, recycled fibers, water-based latex binder, and ground coconut shells. Oh, walnut shells, I'm sorry. This is cute. I just got some walnut milk uh, yesterday because 
I'm just trying to be super cautious of what goes in my body. And all the other milks, it just has extra stuff in it that I just don't think needs to belong in milk. So that's how I know just they're running out of nuts and stuff out there and they're just filling stuff in with it. So anyways, that was a little bit. But I got these. I've been using them so far to, you know, clean my dishes along with the dish soap. And I like it. You know, it's a scrubber. It's a sustainable scrubber. I got some um, tree free facial tissues. Now I never really, I guess girl, not my mom would always have facial tissues in the bathroom, but like Kleenex. But when I'm, as this grown woman that I am, I never really buy like Kleenex. Sorry, these things are annoying because I'm doing that. I never buy Kleenex for the bathroom. So I was just like, come on Quay, get the whole thing. So I hope I got a few of these. Oh my God, I don't think I did. It's okay, I'll put it in another order. But I got some Kleenex. It's a little brown in color. It just made from bamboo and sugar cane. That's so cool. It doesn't smell like anything, but I love the look. I don't need to put these in anything. My whole kitchen and counter set up in the bathroom is just going to be black and white pretty much because of these products. So I'm excited for those. I also got some dental floss. It's so cute. I need to learn how to floss. I need to floss. I'm gonna not, I'm gonna admit, I don't floss that often. Um, so we're trying to change that. This was made in China. It's silk, wax, and peppermint oil. I love that. Now, I got a laundry detergent pod. I love a good pod. There's 24 of them in here. Um, it's soda ash, cocoa glue. Yeah, some of those things. Um, sodium chloride. These were made in the U.S. as well. They have an expiration date of two years to date. And yeah, I think they're pretty simple pod instructions. Of course, I also got some a dishwasher. Dishwasher detergent pods because of why not? So 24 and 24. Super cute, chic. Cute for under the cabinet, along with the cleaners. So cute. I got a three gallon um, trash bags for the 25 count for the bathroom. Compostable waste baskets. So these will compost when they go into the swill or in those landfills or wherever they dump our trash in. So at least I, my bags are gonna, you know, deteriorate. Are yours? Are yours going to deteriorate? Okay, you need to make sure they do because you're just contributing to global warming at this point. <laughs> and I got the recycled trash bags, 13 gallon. My apartment comes with valet trash, which is cool. So yeah, I'm like, here, take my sustainable bag. Thanks. We're almost wrapping up here. Oh, this smells like something already. Oh, okay, okay. So, as you see the big refills, each of the bathroom, the bathroom cleaner, surface cleaner, and the glass cleaner comes with these concentrated refills as well. So, it says, twist off tip, squeeze contents into empty spray bottle, fill with water, replace the cap, shake well until dissolved, and recycle the empty tube. I also have recycling bins that comes with my valet trash. I respect it. They cost, they charge us extra, but I respect it. I respect it. These are gonna be cool. It's gonna be basically, I don't have to buy another one, you know, until those run out. And how often do you run out of cleaners, you know? Like, unless you're Odian, unless you shit it. Lotion. It has a lot of ingredients in it, but they all look good, like, um, Palm oil, oh, that's interesting. Oh, glycerin from palm oil. Yeah, this bottle is made from sugar cane. The bottle does feel cool. Really simple, public goods lotion, 12 ounce. It's all good. It's gonna go right on the counter. It's gonna really look real cute. I got a refill when she runs out. And we got things in motion. I love this for me. I love this a lot for me. I think I actually need to get one for the kitchen sink because I kind of do wash my hands with the kitchen sink and I'll end up using dish soap. So I think it's smart I should get another one. I don't know why I didn't. But the hand soap for the bathroom, same concept. Ooh, we got a spill. Something's moist. There's the glass cleaner. I just love these bottles, man. 
If I were to create a company, I would have done this, but you know, that other guy Morgan did it first. So shout out to you, Morgan. Purified water, um, lauramine oxide from coconut, ethanol from corn, citric acid from citrus fruit, potassium sorbate, a food grade preservative. That's all that's in this glass cleaner that is made in the US. Super cute, sleek look going under the cabinet. I know exactly what I'm grabbing. None of them other guys. I don't know what spilled. It smells like the bathroom cleaner because it has a scent to it. This is the bathroom cleaner, cleaner. so. Yeah, it probably was this. Bathroom cleaner, similar ingredients to the glass cleaner, but with rosemary oil, lemon oil, which is an important ingredient, um, coconut. Yeah, similar. Super cute. And then we have, I think this is the lavender cap. Yeah, it's the lavender vanilla um, candle. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. 3.5 ounce. I wonder how long the burn time is. This candle was made in the US, hand poured in small batches. I'm excited to burn it. I will let you know what it's giving when it's burned, baby. Now, I didn't get too much food items. Oh, I don't know what this dropper is for. Oh, here's my essential oil dropper. That's cute. I didn't get too much. I just need to look at my household things because um, I feel like Trader Joe's as an option is a little cheaper than public goods as food. I'm just going to say it. But I did get this um, pack of canned salmon. Like I said, I'm going to keep my pantry and essential items just in case of emergencies like storage and so um, I got some sustainably caught pink salmon from the wild Pacific Ocean no salt or additives I love this for me just pink salmon that's it that's all it needs to be refrigerated after opening and consumed within two days this is a product of Thailand so I got the salmon and also I got the tuna. I should have just got both salmon, but I got the tuna fish as well. The tuna fish, ooh, it's from packed in Thailand. I wonder if it's caught in Thailand too. Is it Pacific? Does it go by Thailand? Now last and certainly I'm sure it won't be the least um, is reusable food storage wraps. So I guess people are saying like the largest one is big enough to fit around a watermelon in half. So pretty much you wrap this around the food and it's gonna cling to it and you reuse it. You literally, it says wash it, how you wash stuff and then hang it to air dry. It has a little stickiness to it. Hang it to air dry. I don't think they're exaggerating. This is not enough to fit over a watermelon. Oh, dang, I just went off. Oh no, I mean, yeah, come on. But it has a cling to this inner part. So I guess you just wrap it over. You just, you know, do what we do. And we can keep reusing it instead of reusing like sandwich bags and all that plastic stuff that we need to stop using. I'm talking to myself too, so. We have a small one and a medium sized one. And I'll let you guys know how this goes. It's made of cotton, beeswax, plant oils, tree resin. And that is all for my public goods haul. I'll just show you how everything looks. Yeah. So everything is right here. Behind me, I think I got a nice amount of stuff. I spent like, for all of this, $360. Yeah, $360 roughly. With the with free shipping it came literally it arrived here two days after i ordered it three days before i even got here <laughs> low key um it's a lot of stuff so i'm gonna show you so these are all the items i will let you know how everything works and fills and does but i'll send a link to uh, public goods if you haven't already came across the company and i'll see you from there i'm excited like i said i already tried the toilet paper and the sponge and stuff um i'm excited to try everything out and just contribute to this planet more sustainably look at my big mirror it just came oh my god you guys my apartment i can't wait i'm 
so blessed. I'm just so blessed and grateful and thankful just to be here on this new chapter. Let's get a little more sustainable. Let's expand our life here on earth and expand life's earth span because we've been doing too much. And I know it's been happy with us this past year because there's less of us in the streets, but let's get it right. This is my straight to you YouTube video of this public goods haul. I will see you at the next video. Bye.